In this session, we are discussing Arden's theorem, very important theorem, and this particular theorem is going to be used for solving different problems in our regular grammar and regular expressions. Okay, let us come to this point. So, Arden's theorem. Let P and Q be two regular expressions over sigma. We know the sigma is a set of input alphabets. If P does not contain kappa, that means it is ensuring that P is not containing kappa. Then, then the following equation in R, that is R is equal to Q plus RP, I am just marking this one as equation 1, has unique solution that is one and only one solution given by R is equal to Q P star. So, that is the theorem. So, if let P and Q be two regular expressions over sigma and P does not contain kappa or null, then the following equation in R that is R is equal to Q plus R P has unique solution that is one and only one solution given by R is equal to Q P star. So, this is the theorem. Now, from here we are starting with the proof. Now, see Q is plus R P and if R is equal to Q P star is one of the not one unique solution of this particular equation, then I can replace this particular Q by the respective, I think I can replace this particular R by the respective Q P star. So, I am just writing this one. So, Q plus R P. So, R has been replaced by Q P star. So, Q plus Q P star P. If you take Q common, here you see Q is coming at front. So, I should take the common before. So, if you take this Q common, then you are remaining with, here you are remaining with this null kappa and here it is remaining with P star P, P star P. If you consider identity number 9, which we discussed in our previous videos, you can go and consult. In our identity 9, it was written that kappa plus P star P is equal to P star. Actually, it is nothing but P star P means P plus, kappa plus P plus is equal to P star. Okay. That means, this particular kappa plus P star P can be replaced by P star, so Q P star. So, using the identity 9. So, now here you see, if we deduce this one, I am getting that Q P star, which R was Q P star. Hence, equation 1 is satisfied when R is equal to Q P star. This means R is equal to Q P star is a solution of the equation. But it cannot ensure that it is the unique solution because it was told that one and only one solution. Up to this, we have proved that it is a solution, but it is a unique solution that has to be proved here in the second section. To prove uniqueness, consider equation 1, this equation. Here, replacing R by Q plus R P on the right hand side, we get. So, here R is equal to Q plus R P. So, I am taking this right hand side and replacing this R by Q plus R P in a recursive way. So, Q plus R P plus is equal to Q plus. So, again, I am putting this R as Q plus R P. And if we in this way, in this way, if we proceed, then I shall get Q, then kappa plus P plus P P plus dot 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 plus p to the power of i plus r to the r p i plus 1. Why? You see, if you go on replacing this r by this q plus r p, each and every time you are just generating this lambda plus p plus p p p plus dot 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 p to the power of i, obviously prior to that q will be there, I have taken that one common and at last I am having this r 1 times extra to i number of p. So, r p to the power of i plus 1. So, that is that is the uh, deductions we have made. So, r is equal to q, I have written the same expression for i is greater than equal to 0. So, I am just marking this one as equation number 2, I shall be referring that one later. Suppose r satisfies 1 and then it satisfies 2 also, I am just taking this one, assume. 
So suppose R satisfies equation number 1, then it satisfies equation number 2 also. Let W be a string of length i in the set R. So R is nothing but regular expression. So now we are considering a W be a string of length i in the set R. Here you see this, this particular regular expression that is R p to the power of i plus 1 cannot derive string having length less than i plus 1 as p does not contain null. That means as p cannot be null, so p must be having some not null content. So as a result of that, this particular regular expression cannot derive any string lesser than the length i plus 1. So as this w, we consider that it is a string with the length i, so w belongs to the first part, not in the second part. So w belongs to this particular, that is q, and that is a null plus p plus pp plus ppp plus dot 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 plus p to the power of i, and hence to q p star. So that is the first part. Second part, consider a string w in the set q p star. So here you consider w in the in the set R. Now here you are considering this w in the set q p star. Then w is in the set q p to the power of k for some k greater than or equal to 0. As w is in the set this, so w will be also in the set q p to the power of k for some k greater than or equal to 0. And hence in q, so this is the case, so which, which you have. Okay. So, w is in right hand side of equation number 2 and therefore, w is in the left hand side of equation number 2 that is in R. Thus, R and q p star represent the same set. Thus, it proves the uniqueness of the solution. So, in this way, we have easily discussed that this particular solution that is q p star is also unique for that particular regu regular expression. So, in this first part, I am just considering that W is a string of length i and it is a part of this. It cannot produce any W with the length lesser than i plus 1. So, W should be part of this. Now, if we consider W is in the set q p star and, and W is in the set q p to the power of k for some k greater than or equal to 0. So, hence it will be also in this particular set. So now you see in this particular set. So in this way, comparing these two, we can go for this particular inference that it proves the uniqueness of the solution. So unique solution we have proved. Here we have proved it is a solution. Here we have proved that it is a unique solution. So this is our Arden's theorem and it will be required to solve different problems in our regular grammar. Please remember it because we are going to refer this particular Arden's theorems in our next videos while solving different problems. Thanks for watching this video.